Coming up, we'll be on location at Saba Orthodontics discussing the benefits of orthodontics and how they can help you straighten your teeth in less time and give you the beautiful smile you've always desired with one of this region's top orthodontists, Dr. Shadi Saba. Dr. Saba received her DDS degree from the Medical College of Virginia and she is a member of the American Association of Orthodontists. Dr. Saba is widely recognized as one of this region's leading orthodontists. Welcome Dr. Saba, it's a pleasure having you on our program. Thank you, Rocco. Nice being here. Well, we've got a lot to talk about. We've got a patient that's going to be joining us a bit later. But I wanted to begin, if I may, doctor, by asking you if you can please tell us what types of orthodontics are currently available that can help us. Sure. Well, orthodontics has evolved over the past 10 years uh, with a focus on custom-made braces and removable clear al aligners such as Invisalign. So the latest technology has made orthodontics more efficient, more predictable, more comfortable, and less noticeable. So more adults are nowadays doing braces, straining their teeth, and fixing their bite. Basically the invisible braces yes. for the busy professionals that need their teeth straightened and corrected but don't want to wear the traditional metal braces that everyone can see. Exactly. Which yes. is very important benefit indeed. So for example, we offer uh, lingual braces. These are braces that are placed behind the teeth and they are custom made. Uh, we offer two different brands. Incognito is one of them. Harmony is another brand. And the, the main advantage of these braces is that, of course, they're invisible. Nobody knows you're wearing them. Also, because they're custom made, um, they feel more comfortable because the, the brackets fit so perfectly on the teeth and uh, they match the anatomy of every patient's teeth. Mm. So they can make them smaller and thinner. Therefore, they feel more comfortable in the mouth. The arch wires are robotically bent with the end results in mind. So the whole treatment is more efficient. You can reach the end results a lot faster. In a very natural way also yes. because it custom fits in there. Exactly, yes. And what about the Damon system? I understand you also offer that? Yes, so another latest technology in orthodontics is self-ligating brackets and Damon system is one of those uh, self-ligating brackets. The advantage of having these brackets is that um, there's less friction in the whole system so teeth can slide more easily so treatment results can be reached a lot quicker and also patient experiences less discomfort after each orthodontic adjustment so that's another benefit so another um, type of custom-made um, appliance system is Invisalign with the difference that Invisalign is is a removable appliance and it's cosmetic because no one notices that you're wearing them and another benefit of Invisalign is when you take them out, there's no braces or anything on your teeth, so hygiene is a lot easier. It's so much easier to um, keep your, you know, brush your teeth and floss your teeth uh, if you're going through Invisalign treatment. When it first came out, Invisalign, um, back in mid to late 90s, it was mostly for minor tooth movements mm -hmm. and for adults only. Um, over the past six years or so, uh, Invisalign introduced Invisalign Teen. So now it's very popular among the teenagers. Mm -hmm. And um, I think more and more consumers nowadays come in asking for Invisalign. So it's another great product. Very interesting. And what types of problems do these treatments that you mentioned address? Well, they all address malocclusion or a bad bite besides uh, straightening the teeth and making them look nice and you know more attractive. Um, the main benefit that you gain from orthodontic treatment is a health benefit and functional benefit. Straight teeth lead into a healthy gum tissue and also straight teeth are less prone to decay because the patient is able to do a better job keeping them clean. Um, a proper bite uh, helps to preserve the temporomandibular joint and the chewing surfaces of the teeth, so the, they're less prone to enamel wear. And how would you say, Dr. Saba, these treatments are different from, say, traditional orthodontic treatments? Since everything is made at the lab, the brackets, the arch wires are robotically bent, everything is so precise and treatment is more efficient, more predictable, the outcomes are more predictable. 
um, and it's more comfortable for the patients. And as far as self-ligating brackets, same thing, treatment efficiency is enhanced and uh, patient experiences less discomfort. And how long do these treatments typically take, doctor? Well, uh, the length of treatment really depends on the type of malocclusion and um, the treatment option that the patient has chosen. So mm -hmm. treatments take anywhere from three months to 30 months. Three months would be for very minor tooth movements. 30 months would be for the more complex uh, cases. Uh, and in general, adults' teeth move slower than children's teeth. Yeah. So a treatment that would take 18 months in a teenager would take 24 months in an adult. Oh, okay. So again, like you said, it varies based on the age and the person and how much work is needed. Yes. And is there any way of speeding up any of these treatments? Yes. We offer three different options. One is Accelident. Accelident is a device that um, has an activator and a mouthpiece that the patient bites into for 20 minutes a day. And it basically creates uh, a gentle, um, very gentle micro pulses through the jawbone so teeth can move faster because it enhances the rate of bone remodeling. We see a decrease in treatment time anywhere from 30% to 50%. Mm, that's significant. Yes. So that's option number one. The other plus of Accelident is that um, patients experience less discomfort mm. as they go through their treatment. After each adjustment, they don't get sore if they're using Accelident. That's a significant advantage as well because yes. we know what the options were before this. Yes. We'd get soreness yes. and it would take a while. Yes, exactly. So option number two is Propel. Propel is a device that I use in the office. I make uh, tiny punch holes through the gum tissue into the bone. It's very simple. It just takes five to ten minutes. Yeah. I do have to numb, numb the gum tissue and uh, patient doesn't need to, there's no recovery associated with it. Patients go back to work, school, and what this does is that it makes the bone softer so teeth can slide more easily through the oh. bone. That's yes. a significant advantage. Yes, and again, this process also decreases treatment time by 50%. Better results, more efficiently done, and in less time. Yes, and then the third option is Wilcodontics. Wilcodontics, or accelerated osteogenic orthodontics, has been around much longer than the other two options, mm -hmm. and it does involve a surgeon, usually an oral surgeon or a periodontist, who's uh, certified in Wilcodonics. Yeah. So they do have to do a minor surgery in the office. You don't need to go to the hospital for it. And uh, you need a couple of days to recover. Mm -hmm. And then um, once that's done, basically teeth move a lot faster. Within six months, teeth move very, very quickly. Okay. This option uh, reduces treatment time anywhere between 50% to 60%. And what type of results can we expect, Dr. Saba, from these treatments? The results are basically a very um, functional, uh, ideal bite and, of course, straight teeth. Mm -hmm. So um, I would say the number one benefit is that with a proper bite, you get a more efficient function, meaning that you'll be able to chew the food more efficiently and quickly, which leads into better absorption and overall nutrition. And of course, let's not forget about the psychosocial effects of having misaligned teeth. Right. Um, so creating a beautiful smile definitely improves one's self-esteem. Welcome, Becky. It's a pleasure having you on our program. Well, thank you for having me. Oh, we appreciate you coming down. I wanted to begin, if I may, by asking you, Becky, if you can please tell us what brought you to Saba Orthodontics. Well, I had orthodontics as a kid, um, but they didn't quite fix all the problems. And when I moved out here about five years ago, my dentist said, maybe you should look into getting some of the remaining problems fixed. It would help in the long-term health of your, your jaws. And um, so I did some research, and of course I wanted to find a top uh, orthodontist uh, that had a ton of different options. Uh, for treatments and uh, abilities to do different things, uh, but also had some convenient locations for me because uh, I'm out in the suburbs as well. Um, and I found Dr. Saba. Oh, so then you came here and what have you had done from her? 
Well, um, we actually had a couple of different treatment options and I decided to go with um, orthodontics uh, lingual braces, which are behind your teeth. Uh, so you actually, for the majority of the treatment, don't see anything on the front of your teeth. Um, and then also combined it with jaw surgery. Oh. And um, what I do know about Dr. Saba is she's one of the few orthodontists that can do the lingual braces uh, with jaw surgery, which was a big plus um, because I often do things that I'm giving presentations or it's very public and it, it was neat to be able to have kind of a, a hidden option, uh, but straightening my teeth at the same at time. At the same time without yeah. people knowing you have that on. Exactly. Especially in your line of work. Exactly. So I, I would take it before you came to Dr. Saba and before you had those treatments, uh, was your confidence being affected to some extent prior to that or your self-esteem in any way? It definitely was in some ways. Um, so it wasn't just a medical thing, but it was a cosmetic thing. Um, yes. And I, I have to say I smile so much more after having my treatment. Stuff. Well, you look so. great, Becky, you do. Can, and for the folks out there watching, what would you tell them about not only your experience with Dr. Saba, but the staff here at Saba Orthodontics? Well, I have to say Dr. Saba and all of her staff are just the nicest people. Um, they're very professional. Um, they answer all of your questions. They take the extra time for you. I actually um, had surgery on my nose and I had to come in and I, and I said, please be really careful like not to hit my nose, not to even bump it. And they took the extra time and made sure that I was absolutely fine. Um, and, and still continued with my treatment right on time. So. That's wonderful, so happy to hear that. And lastly, before we let you go, Becky, for the folks out there that are watching, any final thoughts? Absolutely, I recommend that if you have any concerns about your smile, whether it's cosmetic or medical related, definitely consider uh, orthodontics and consider Dr. Saba. Uh, even in the three years that I've known her, she has so many new technologies and so many different options for treatments. Um, I'm sure that there's one that will fit your needs. Well, on that note, we'd like to thank you, Becky, for taking the time to come down and share some of your experiences with us and being a guest on our program. Absolutely, thank you. It's our pleasure. Welcome, Stephanie. Thank you for joining us. Happy to be here. Now, I wanted to ask you, Stephanie, I understand you've been coming to Dr. Saba for some time. And yes. you actually, if I'm not mistaken, and please correct me if I am, started coming to her while you were an undergrad student at West Virginia University. That is correct. I was in my junior year, well, wait, sophomore to junior year, and I wanted to get a second opinion on my teeth. When I was younger, I had gone and done braces as a child. Um, it was actually a four-year procedure, and it just never quite turned out as the way that I wanted. Um, they were never gonna be perfect, and so I went through the rest of high school and part of my college career um, pretty much dissatisfied and hiding in pictures because I just really didn't want to take photos because I didn't like how my smile was. So eventually by the time that I turned 20 I was fed up and so I started looking for different, you know, different orthodontists basically. And we found Dr. Saba in the top 100 doctors for the Washingtonian I believe and we came in for a consultation and that was the day that we decided to go ahead and try the lingual treatment. So then you came, you, you found out about Dr. Saba. Yes. And this is again while you're a student at West mm -hmm. Virginia University which yes. is what a couple of hours from uh, here? About four hours away. My mother had looked up um, top top dentists in the in the DMV area and she had popped up and so we decided to come in for a consultation. and. She had done an x-ray and looked at it and was like, yep, you have four extra teeth in your mouth. That's what's causing you not to have a perfect smile. And so right then and there, we pretty much decided to go ahead and do another procedure on my mouth. So what happened then? Being a student at West Virginia, you're in your 20s, you don't want to go out into the social scene with braces. So I decided to go with the lingual treatment, meaning I got braces behind the back. So, um, you know, a couple months down the road, we did the procedure um, to get them on the back. Well, I got my teeth pulled and then I got the braces on the, on the back of my teeth and we went from there. 
it, I honestly, I do recommend it for any person who's, you know, over the age of 12. You know, if you don't want to go out and have braces on the front of your teeth because you have self-confidence issues, or just in general because you just don't want people to know that you're getting yeah. your treatment done, yeah. do the lingual. So then you had the lingual braces mm -hmm. done, and you now I understand you've obviously completed your school, <laughs> your college yes. at West Virginia. You live in Alexandria, Virginia. Actually, I work in Alexandria, okay. but I, I currently reside in Fairfax. Okay. But um, I was born and raised in Burke, so I was coming either depending on whatever time of the year it was, I would be coming huge commute, either forty-five minutes or well, four hours for West Virginia. Yeah, and that is all because of how you feel about your experience and the trust you have for Dr. Saab on her staff? Yes, that's true. And then also, um, not many people do offer the lingual uh, treatment. Uh, nice. At least I'm not sure if more people do it now, but I know that uh, Dr. Sabo was one of the few at the time that offered that treatment and had the, I guess, the training and expertise to do it. So, um, yeah, I mean, so I did come to Dr. Sabo. She was very kind to me and especially throughout the whole entire experience because I was a special case. I needed to come on Saturdays. It wasn't okay for me to come during the weekdays because I would be at school four hours away. Yes. So there was a, a, you know, a good relationship with Dr. Saba. So that's why I drove from West Virginia four hours to here to get my consultation with Dr. Saba because of my, my strong relationship with her and because she was, you know, one of the few that did this treatment. Yes, indeed. And how do you like the results thus far? My teeth are perfect. Yeah, they I look am, great. <laughs> I have never been more confident in my entire life with how I look in photos now and just my smile is perfect and I cannot emphasize enough how much and, and appreciate enough how Dr. Saba has helped me with this whole entire process and to constantly make sure that I'm checking up to make sure that I'm doing everything possible to make sure that my teeth remain straight. Yes, indeed. And on that note, I'd like to thank you, Stephanie, for joining us, sharing your experience, and being a guest on our program. Oh, no problem at all. It was very, it was a great pleasure of mine. Welcome, David. It's great having you on our program. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Now, I wanted to begin by asking you, David, if you can please tell us, was there a problem or problems that you were experiencing that brought you to Dr. Saba and Saba Orthodontics? I was... 34 years old at the time when I came to Dr. Sava, so I was probably more non-traditional, you know, adult patient of hers. I had, this was actually my second time in my life that I wore braces, so um, it was a classic case of wearing it when I was younger, getting older, not, not keeping up with uh, the retainers and everything else, and got to a point in my life where I felt like my teeth were pretty crooked and I wanted to make a change, and, and, uh, and that's why I came to her. I wanted to to commit to doing it, and that's why I got uh, the braces at, at 34. And you came here, and then what took place? When I first uh, met with Dr. Saba, we had a consultation, sat down uh, in her room. She evaluated my teeth, told her, um, she told me a bunch of things that they could do to help me. I had a little bit of a unique case in, in that I didn't just require uh, braces to correct my teeth, but I also had a, 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 an open bite that was needed to be corrected surgically by what's called an orthognathic surgery. Okay. So in combination with the braces, I actually had a process and procedure done to correct my bite in addition to wearing the braces. So she worked pretty closely with another doctor in DC named Dr. Guttenberg, okay. who helped with that. And in combination with that, um, she was able to uh, give me a, a good treatment that I have today. So then after that was all done, David, how did you feel about the results? I loved them. I was very happy with them. It was something that I'm, I'm in a career where I'm constantly talking to people, talking to customers and clients. Um, your smile is something that's the first thing people see, the last thing people see. It's been very important for me. It's, it's made me feel better about myself, you know, as anybody would be, you know, having a, a nice smile is something that's important to anyone. And for me, at, at, at my age and, and making that sort of commitment, being a, you know, a professional in the working space, it was definitely something I had to evaluate, but I did a lot of research and I, and I, and I came out finding that Dr. Saba was probably one of the best in the area, in the Washington area. Yes, indeed, and in your particular case, uh, I found it very interesting, as you told me this prior to our interview here, is that you actually live in the Old Town Alexandria, Virginia area, and you drive all the way out here to her Sterling, Virginia office, which is about 45 minutes or so, even though there are certainly other orthodontists 
right near you in Old Town. Can you please elaborate on that a little bit for the viewers? There's probably anywhere between 20 and 40 orthodontists in the combination of Arlington and, and Alexandria where I live. Uh, in my research and the things that I reviewed and some of the articles I read, I wanted, to, it, I, I wanted to make sure I did this the right way and I felt so confidently about Dr. Saba that I made about a 45 minute drive each way every time to meet with her and when you're going through something like this, it's usually a year and a half to two year process and a once a month commute to wherever you're going to meet with your doctor. So it's a pretty big investment on my part in terms of time and mileage and gas and everything else. So. Um, it was it was well worth it and something that I think should mean a lot to, to anyone that's considering doing some, something like this. So how do you feel about the results so far? I feel great. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. Um, it's been something that's given me confidence. I, I like my smile now, whereas before I felt like things were constantly changing in the wrong direction. And it's something that, that I'm glad I did. I'm very happy that I did it and I'm happy that I went with uh, Dr. Saba. And on that note, we'd like to thank you, David, for joining us, being a guest on our program and sharing some of your experiences with us. Thank you very much. It was our pleasure. And how many follow-up visits are typically required, Dr. Saba? And I throw in the disclaimer that I'm sure it varies based on what treatment was done, yes. the patient and his or her particular situation. But in general, do you recommend your patients coming back after the treatments every so often just to see how they're doing? Yes, exactly. Patients need to be seen every six to eight weeks. And uh, the adjustment visits usually take 20 minutes, 30 minutes, depending on what it is that we're doing during that appointment. And if we're using self-ligating brackets, I mentioned before, um, patients can be seen actually less frequently because the way this um, bracket system works, it, it uh, applies pressure continuously over a, long, a longer period of time. And who would you say would be a good candidate that can benefit from a lot of these treatments that you've talked about? Anyone with a malocclusion or a bad bite and um, misaligned teeth can benefit from orthodontic treatment. And are there any age restrictions for any of these treatments? American Association of Orthodontists recommends um, that every child receives a consultation at age seven. Okay. So. Age seven is critical because um, early on in development, when there's so much growth potential and the bone is soft, we can take advantage of that and guide the teeth and the, the jawbone into proper position. Mm. So the earlier you start, the easier it is on your child. And sometimes by doing this interceptive treatment, we can eliminate the need for braces when they get older. Yes, indeed, it's a great prevention method to avoid the kind of problems that can occur if we don't start going to a dentist or an orthodontist at an earlier age. Yes. And as far as a, an upper age limit, there is no uh, contraindication for any adult to go orthodon through orthodontic treatment. Okay. As long as there is no gum disease or um, periodontal disease, anyone can benefit from having a beautiful smile. That's wonderful. Yeah. That means pretty much everyone out there that's watching, if they're in this situation, obviously can come to an orthodontist like yourself and benefit. Yes. And are the results permanent from a lot of these treatments that we've talked about today? The results are permanent as long as the patient is compliant during the retention phase of the treatment, yes. Like with any treatment, in other words, when it's completed, uh, the results are permanent as long as the patient follows what the doctor says. Yes, they, they have to wear their retainers. And of course, we do have permanent retainers that add to the permanence of the results. Now we're literally out of time, Dr. Saba, but I wanted to ask you before I let you go, you and your practice, Saba Orthodontics, which for all the folks out there watching is conveniently located in both Washington, D.C. as well as in Sterling, Virginia. So you can uh, obviously help so many folks, including people from Maryland as well, because your D.C. office is not far from Maryland. You've certainly established a reputation for excellence, Dr. Saba, in not only patient care, dental care, I mean, you're recognized as one of this region's top orthodontists. What would you f say has really s helped separate your practice apart from the others? Thank you. Well, to begin with, um, my team and I care for our patients as if they're our own family. Um, patients appreciate the results, the outcome that they get, and the individualized attention that they receive from us. Um, 
Also, I'm a big advocate of continuing education. It, ma it only makes sense to attend courses beyond what's required by the state for licensure. Um, yes. Because it's about being the best we can be for our patients. I customize my treatment plan for every patient based on their needs and their lifestyle and, you know, the, of course, the type of correction that's necessary. So we listen to our patients' needs and concerns, developing a treatment plan that uh, incorporates optimum results and health, comfort, and aesthetics for the long term. Um, also, I offer all options possible from Invisalign to Invisalign Teen to self-ligating braces and metal and clear. And of course, I'm one of the few certified providers of lingual or behind the teeth braces. To become a certified provider, not only the orthodontist, but also the entire team has to go through the certification course. And then um, to be recognized as a certified provider, you have to maintain your level of uh, competency by you know, treating so many uh, patients every year. So to be seen for an initial consultation, you do not need a referral from your dentist and there's no cost to you. Uh, during that initial visit, I, I will do a thorough exam and then we will take some diagnostic records such as um, x-rays and pictures and then I will determine if there's an orthodontic uh, need and if there is, um, I will develop a treatment plan and we will discuss it. I will answer all your questions that you may have uh, and then the rest is up to you. Yes, indeed. Not to mention your office here is state of the art. It's beautiful. I walked in and I felt like I'm not at a dental office or an orthodontist office. I'm actually at a spa. <laughs> I mean, that's what it feels like. It's beautiful. It's relaxing. It's tranquil. Uh, it's we really have you're helping so many folks. And it was really our pleasure having you on our program thank today, you. Dr. Saba. We wanted to thank you for joining us and we'd love to have you back on in the future. Thank you. Definitely. Thanks for having me. Thank you.